The primary evidence for the Big Bang cosmological model is cosmic microwave background radiation and the redshift of galactic light waves. The static of CMB radiation. The radio observation of cosmic microwave background radiation was first believed to be the uniform glow or echo of the Big Bang. The COBE satellite measured the diffuse infrared and microwave radiation surrounding Earth in every direction. The cold spot anomaly discovered by WMAP disproves uniformity of CMB. Revealed, Hawkins radiation anomalies also disprove uniformity of the CMB radiation. Related to the CMB, the cosmological principle holds that at large scales, the universe is smooth and uniform in every direction. This principle is being disproven by the most recent observations that reveal increasingly large structures the farther we look out into the universe. Stretching 3.3 billion light years across the sky, the giant arc consist of innumerable galaxies and their clusters. Under the Big Bang cosmological principle, the structure should not exist as it might take a trillion years to gravitationally form. Does Big Bang expansion cause the redshift of galactic light waves? The redshift of distant light waves is the foundation of Big Bang cosmology. The black intergalactic space between the galaxies of light is not empty. A basic plasma consists of one electrically neutral hydrogen atom in every cubic meter and, within every three cubic meters of space, a single positive naked proton and one negative free electron magnetically vibrate in place. Growing from 1 plus 2 equals 3, three hydrogen atoms, one electron, and one proton naturally organize within the plasma. They multiply, 3 times 3 equals 9, into a basic neutral electromagnetic mathematical matrix of 3 cubed equals 27, with each matrix containing 27 neutral hydrogen atoms, 9 vibrating positive protons, and nine vibrating negative electrons. The mathematical matrices of elemental, electrically neutral, and conducting ionizing gas plasma faithfully transmit light waves from source to destination as each photon-electron interaction releases a tiny bit of energy into the intergalactic space. Redshift is believed to result from the Doppler effect of receding light sources. Recessional velocity redshift. When the object is moving away, the wave becomes stretched. Dark energy is also believed to cause cosmological redshift. Edwin Hubble, who discovered redshift, did not believe in the Big Bang. New hard light alternatives to Big Bang expanding redshift. Moving photons are absorbed and readmitted by electrons in the plasma. Each photon-electron interaction reduces the light wave's frequency and increases its length. Tired light may also account for the cosmic microwave background radiation. Every time a photon interacts with an electron, it loses energy into the intergalactic medium plasma and may contribute to the cosmic microwave background.
If the CMB and the redshift of galactic light waves are due to tired light photon electron interaction in the intergalactic medium plasma, the universe of light is static. It is not expanding, and most likely there are an infinite number of mother galaxies far beyond our ability to ever observe. The black holes allegedly consuming stars at the core of galaxies and quasars are actually electromagnetic plasmoids generating star-making electrical filaments and massive jets of enormous energy. A plasmoid is a coherent structure of plasma and magnetic fields that form at a z-pinch. Radio telescope image of the jet emitted by the Virgo A galaxy. The lovely jets of the Fornax radio galaxy. Jets emitted by the Hercules A galaxy. Jets of a radio galaxy with multiple lobes. Gamma ray, narrow line jets from the highest redshift Blazar galaxy. A radio telescope image of galaxy M87 reveals the corkscrew like helical structure of its jet. A radio image of M87 is reported as a black hole, but in fact, AI enhancement reveals a massive plasmoid at the galaxy center. An image of the Centaurus A galaxy by the Event Horizon Radio Telescope. the Chandra X-ray Space Telescope image of the Cygnus A galaxy. The jets of galaxy CGCG049933 are more than one million light years long. X-ray and radio imaging of Messier 84 galaxy. Radio and X-ray images of Sagittarius A star, the Milky Way's alleged black hole, reveal a massive outflow, claimed to be a magnetically collimated jet of matter and or hot clumps of ionized gas supposedly produced in the disk of matter circling the black hole. Quasars associated with galaxies often outshine the entire galaxy, and they also produce jets. The jet of quasar 3C273 is observed in the optical, X-ray, and radio spectra. The outflow of quasar, SDS, etc., allegedly from a massive black hole 1,000 times greater than the one believed to be at the core of the Milky Way. The brilliant luminosity of a very early massive quasar is attributed to a gigantic black hole spanning a diameter of seven light years. Galaxies, and their associated quasars. Discordant redshifts of a galaxy and quasar connected by a luminous bridge show the galaxy at 107 million light years from Earth and the quasar at 1.2 billion light years. Galaxies and their associated quasars 
can have discordant redshifts. If the universe is not expanding, the differences in the redshifts of galaxies and associated quasars become linear as a measure of actual distance rather than exponential as connected to the increasing entropy of an expanding universe. The electromagnetic jets of galaxies and quasars and their discordant redshifts disprove both black holes at the center of galaxies and the Big Bang. The standard Lambda CDM model of the universe requires imaginary cold dark matter to hold it together and imaginary dark energy to expand it beyond the speed of light. Allegedly, observable matter is only 4.9% of the entire universe. Imaginary dark matter and energy are like the cycles and epicycles of the Earth-centered Ptolemaic model of the Dark Ages, which were imagined to account for the observed movement of other planets. Under the standard model, galaxies rotate so fast that the gravity of their observed mass could not possibly hold them together. There is a difference between the calculated and observed rotational velocities of galaxies. An epicycle of invisible dark matter was imagined to hold galaxies together. Radio images attributed to dark matter joining two galaxies may in fact represent evidence of electromagnetic processes in connecting filaments surrounded by molecular gas. The redshift of the most distant galactic light requires a recessional velocity in excess of the speed of light. The epicycle of dark energy was invented to explain the exponential recession of distant galaxies. While the Big Bang theory of an expanding gravitational universe requires the redshift of light from the most distant galaxies to become exponential, a static universe allows the redshifts to remain linear as a measure of actual distance eliminating the need for dark energy to balance the equations. With appreciation, this presentation borrowed brief clips from the following YouTube videos, which should be directly viewed for more information. This non-commercial presentation includes dozens of images found on the internet and used with great appreciation, but without proper attribution due to the impossibility of identifying and contacting owners of the original sources. If the owner of any such image objects to its use, please email the author with details and the image will be removed. The author especially thanks Eric J. Lerner and his book, the Big Bang Never Happened for introducing evidence disproving the standard model of cosmology, and Professor Louis Marmet for his invitation to join a cosmology group where dissident scientists have the freedom to disagree with settled science and to publish alternative theories refused by mainstream authorities. Dedicated to Christian Berkelin, Edwin Hubble, and Hans Alvin who discovered the electromagnetic plasma universe and whose work has been mischaracterized and misused by the gravitationalists who defend the false Big Bang cosmology by ignoring and disparaging all challenges.
Music by Scott Buckley and Johannes Bronze. To be presented by William John Cox at the Science of Consciousness Conference in Tucson, Arizona, April the 22nd through the 27th, 2024. Greatly appreciated. Abi Montefiore and Stuart Hameroff, the Center for Consciousness Studies, University of Arizona, Tucson, Arizona, for making this presentation possible. <laughs>